talking to Mickey Collins after the uh, FA Trophy defeat at home to Ellsbury United on uh, Tuesday night. Spirited second half, Mickey, but uh, the damage already done uh, well by then. Absolutely. Yeah. Started the game all right, to be fair. Um, but you know what? If you look at the, the, the three minutes that we've capitulated and given them three goals, you know. And that's it. And if you come off and you go, do you know what? They've scored three fantastic goals and they've put us to the sword with that. You go, yeah, but we've contributed to our own downfall. However, we've gone in at half time, still in the game, in my opinion. And then um, we changed it, got at them, and um, with a little bit more lady luck, we might have got back. But well deserved for them, and um, wishing them all the best in the next round. Really looking back, a three minute spell which uh, put us out. Yeah, you, it's difficult to come back from that. You know, 3 1 down, and all of a sudden the body language is different as well. But you, you know what, you, you can't defend like that. And that's exactly what's happened. You know, the first one, the goalkeeper's, you know, he's, he'll put his hands up, you know. He's got done from 35 yards with a very soft lob. Um, second one, you know what? We've not tucked round. We've not we've not dealt with the situation. We've left them, and then Pat's come out to try and make amends, and he skipped round him and scores the second. And then the third one, it's um, calamity. <laughs> he makes the save. All you got to do is kick the ball out of the ground, and we've tried to kick it back up the pitch, ricochet, and back in you go. That's it. Um, but you know, that's it. You know, you can have talking points all day. So. But it's how we reacted, and I just thought half time we went in we'd, and they listened, took it on board, and I thought we came out and thought we were exceptional second half. We just couldn't, couldn't get the goals over them. Terrell was, you know, a spark in the second half, hit the bar, one saved by the keeper. Uh, but you know, you, as you say, you can talk all night about the, the chances you created in the second half, but it was always going to be an uphill struggle, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a massive, massive thing to come back from. I just thought if we'd have got the second, maybe a bit quicker. If we'd have got it in the first five, ten minutes of the second half, I thought the third one might have come a bit easier. But um, listen, you, you can go out with a whimper or you can go out and try. And we've gone out and tried, and then you know what? You come unstuck with the fourth at the end, but you know, I'll take that on the chin. That doesn't, you know, that, I'm not fussed about it, to be honest. Not for the first time, though. You know, you seem to click better in the second half. You know, we, we talked about it before being a second half team. You know, the likes of Nathan Gordon seemed to uh, spark, and so did Carl De Silva down that left hand side. Uh, we changed Terrell as well. Yeah, we changed the formation totally and then just said be brave. You know, and actually, from the whole second half, we've got the ball down and played wide and tried to pass it. And then when we've actually gone long and tried to try to pick people out straight down the middle, it's come back and, and it's killed us. And that's what's happened with the fourth goal. It's another mistake, you know, it's a poor decision. We've got a guy that wants to play out from the back there, he's waiting to receive the ball and we've booted it down the pitch. They're fantastic at the back, we, we saw that Saturday. That's why they don't let many goals in. Um, and that's disappointing. But um, I thought we caused them problems, massive problems, especially with some diags from Ben Gorham. Um, and both fullbacks managed to get on and support the wingers. And it just was one of those days where it just doesn't roll in the back of the net and you, you don't get your equaliser. Um, but you get what you deserve in football. And when you have moments like we did in the first half, we deserve nothing. And um, we, have to, we have to be honest about that and take it on the chin. Do you point to the loss of Tom Ripley so early on as a key factor in the game or not? It can do. It can have a bearing on it because obviously people are coming on and it's new and it's being shifted around. But he, he, he's got nothing to do with your goalkeeper being locked from 30 yards. <laughs> you know, so you can look at two of the other goals. Yeah, possibly. Jack, Jack's not covered himself in glory with either one of them. Um, neither has Nathan. So you're just wide open. But maybe with his calming influence, maybe after the first one went in, we might have settled it down a little bit better and, and took it on the chin and weathered, that, weathered the storm and got <coughs> through it. But we didn't. And then all of a sudden you're staring down the barrel of a 4-5-1 because they had this tendency and they should because they're a very good side and we saw that Saturday at their place. And uh, looking back we were two minutes away from winning in the first match uh, but it means little now but having worked so hard on Saturday against a very good side you know it was to get a little reward, no reward is, is so, they were yeah. so disappointing. Yeah but if, if we're honest about Saturday first 15 minutes of the game they could have been out of sight again. So I'm, you know, I'm honest whenever I watch a game of football and, and, and we got put to the sword Saturday and Pat, to be fair, made some great saves and kept us in it. Um, and then we managed to go one up from another set piece and, and the same tonight, you know, we've, we've worked on it with them and we, we knew how we could cause them problems. And then second half we, we said we'll, tr we'll try and play football and, and beat them that way. And it, either way's worked, we just haven't managed to go and get enough, enough goals, that's football, you know. So it's gone now, but uh, big one on Saturday with uh, Ashford United here, second against third, um, against uh, a manager you know very well, Tommy Warrillow. Yeah, he's good. Tom's one of my friends, and um, he's done really well at Ashford. They're flying, you know. I think they were winning tonight, one nil in extra time. And I know they were down at ten men, so they've probably had a bit of a tough night, which will do us a bit of a favour. But so did we. So um, it'll be a tough game. It'll be tight, and um, you know what? It, we, we just got to be on our metal. We got to be a little bit switched on for, for longer periods. We can't. 
you can't go through a season and, and switch off like that and um, expect to go and win games of football. But um, the boys know that. And um, but I'm very very proud of them. Second half, thought they showed a lot of character, and they came out and give it a go. And as I said, we didn't go out of a whimper. We actually had a proper go, which never got what we wanted. Mickey, thank you. Cheers, Andrew.